Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Prefix 55. Prefix today is cyber, C-Y-B-E-R as a word beginning. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. The prefix cyber is used to form words meaning related to the internet or computers in general. Okay, let's continue. The prefix is a back formation of cybernetics, uh, also meaning of or relating to the internet or computers. Cybernetics derive from ancient Greek, meaning good at steering or being a good pilot, and I don't know, in a way of finding information on the internet, something like that, or traveling through the internet. All right, let's continue. And we got several examples here to show just how this prefix is used. Here's the first one. Cyber activism. Doing activism or being an activist through the internet. All right, and here's our example. She takes part in cyber activism with her own website and protests against abuse of animals. Okay, good. Cyber art, art produced with the help of computers. Um, she is taking a course to learn how to do cyber art. Sure, next one. Um, okay, good, cyber attack. An attack by the means of a computer network. Yeah, this is a common one we may hear today. Uh, there was a cyber attack on that bank's computer system. Okay, good. Um, cyber bullying, very common one. Um, acts of bullying others through the internet. Uh, let's see. And our example, um, cyber bullying is a modern day problem among students in schools. Yeah, sometimes very serious. Let's continue. Cyber dating, dating through the use of an internet site and computer networking. And here's our example. She decided to try her luck at cyber dating. You know, maybe, you know, in the traditional way of finding um, a mate or a boyfriend or something, uh, she didn't have much luck and say, well, why not? Let's read the next one. Cyber gambling, gambling over the internet. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty big. So I, um, he lost a fortune from cyber gambling. Okay, good. And cyber crime, a crime committed using computer networking. Sure. Um, if someone steals your identity, yeah, that's a big problem in the U.S. We sometimes refer to it as identity theft. Uh, they may try to use it for cyber crime. So they may use your name and, you know, your, well, what, depending on the country, your ID number or like in the U.S., your social security number and try to do crime pretending to be you. All right. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.